The past year has been dismal, to say the least, for the U.S. auto industry. Sales down dramatically, thousands of dealerships closed, GM and Chrysler forced to declare bankruptcy. Which is why today's news from Ford was all the more surprising. The company, the only automaker not taking taxpayer bailout money, posted a nearly $1 billion profit for the third quarter of the year. What's more, the company said it would be solidly profitable the year after next. So Chris Bury joins us from Detroit this evening. Chris. Good evening, Charlie. Here at headquarters, they are celebrating for a change. Ford did something no other American automaker has achieved in more than four years. It actually made money selling cars in America. Ford's billion-dollar profit and upbeat forecast surprised everyone. Those who buy cars, sell them, and make them. Clearly, the move from break-even or better to solid profitability means that we'll be uh, making money in all of our vehicle operations. Like all car companies, Ford got a big boost from the government's Cash for Clunkers program. Two Ford models, the Focus and the Escape, were the only American cars among the top ten sellers. Would you have these profits without Cash for Clunkers? Well, certainly Cash for Clunkers uh, did a lot of good things. It stimulated the economy. It was good for the consumer. It got a lot of guzzlers off the road, so it helped. It also helped that in the latest quality rankings, 90% of Ford's models scored above average or better, easily beating GM, leaving Chrysler in the dust. When you look at where Ford was two or three years ago versus where they are today, they have absolutely turned a corner, and the signs for them moving into next year, I think, are very positive. Some dealers believe Ford's decision not to take billions in government loans, as GM and Chrysler did, convinced consumers it would survive. The public views Ford a lot more favorably now than they ever had before by not taking the government bailout money. But a newly profitable Ford faces a rough road with its union workforce. Today, auto workers rejected a deal, giving a flush Ford the same painful concessions it okayed for bankrupt GM and Chrysler. What is a $997 million profit, you know, and then they wanted us to give up more. I'm glad we didn't uh, sign that contract. Ford insists okay. more union givebacks are critical to the cost cutting that helped turn its balance sheet from red to black. It is definitely a bit of a speed bump as the case for the concessions isn't as strong. If Ford keeps its promise, the only American automaker not to take government money or declare bankruptcy will enjoy a clear head start over the companies that did.